Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Today we're going to be working on beginning collision detection. Now there's a great, great wiki, art, Ro Roblox wiki article on GUI collision detection. The link is in the description. Check it out. It's probably, it, it's really, really good and I'm actually going to be basing off of that for everything I do today, probably tomorrow and possibly Friday if it takes as long as I'm expecting it to. Now what is collision detection? Well, if some of you should know what the word collision is and collision is when two things collide or hit each other. So when say you high five somebody or clap your hands, you're colliding with another hand or set of hands. Um, and there is a collision and the sound can sort of be your alert that you did collide and there was and that's how you detect the collision or that's your collision detection now that's a terrible metaphor or analogy for what I'm about to explain to you guys but at least you can get the idea that of what collision detections really 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 basic fundamentals are so in 2d games, collision detection typically only has to do with the X, the Y, the height, and the width. So they're going to be, and what we're, collision detection is going to do is it's going to check if our player is hitting any platforms that he's not supposed to touch. Okay, so let's go into our script here in the window here. Alright. So there's a lot here already, but we're going to add even more. And let's actually get rid of these connections. We do not need them um, anymore. We do want to add main loop there. Now, we're going to have several collision detection functions. Uh, actually, not functions, but it checks. Okay. Uh, we're going to have one for the right and for the left because they're slightly different. Okay. Um, so we're probably only going to get the right part done today, uh, but that's not going to be terrible necessarily. Um, there is one thing I would like to do though, and that is, um, right now when I was testing, uh, the game out, seeing how we're moving, thinking about what I should teach next, and I came up with collision detection. I died. Uh, my actual character died. So we want to make them sure the characters can't move when they're playing this. So player, that character. Uh, let's ju let's just double check if player that character does not equal nil. Then player that character that humanoid dot walk speed equals zero, and that will make the player unable to move. And this little check here is just making sure that the player or the character does actually exist, that they're not still waiting to respond, and that's good. Uh, it, it should do the trick for us. Anyway, here we're going to make collision check. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a really, really big if statement here. Okay, it's really big. It's going to double check to see if the player is actually moving um, into something. Now for the right collision detection, it's not too difficult necessarily. Uh, same for the left, but I, the right is going to be explained more because that's what we're doing first. And the left is almost just a mirror image of that. Now the first thing I want to do is actually get rid of this if here because it's actually not useful yet. We're going to make a plats variable. And plats will be equal to script.parent. Let's go over here to the explorer. Script.parent.platforms get children. Um, and get children, as you guys know, just gets all the children of the thing that you define. And we've already come close to five minutes and we've barely scripted a line. Wow. For i equals one, number plats do p equals plats i and what we're doing here is we're just running through a loop through all of the plats uh, the platforms and this p is just going to equal the platform we're actually indexing at that time okay 
we're actually indexing that platform and that's just so we don't have to type plats um, bracket I bracket all the time we can just P and that's that came out wrong we can just type the letter P <laughs> we can just type the letter P and it'll index to it um, yeah <laughs> okay now it, now we do the actual collision check itself um, and now if P that you know what I can't I can't call it P you guys are nope we're gonna we're just gonna call it hmm you know what fine if you guys want to be immature that's up to you <laughs> alright now if P that position that X that scale okay is less than player that position that X that scale plus oops, plus player that size that X that scale and and I'll go through what each part of this does in a second and just give me a little bit of time here and P that position that X that scale is less than I keep adding that extra S player that position that X that scale plus ah jeez plus player that position that size that X that scale divided by two now how can I explain why we're doing that eh all right I'll explain that later guys Alright, so we're not done with the collision detection yet, but we've gotten the X part of it down. We still need to do the Y. However, I will run through explaining this uh, so you guys can understand. Now, P, as you guys will remember, it, it's the platform that we're checking with right now. So if the platform's position, the X scale of its position is less than the player's X scale positioning, and plus adding the player's position that size scale um, and I, then they're going to be <laughs> I, you know I'm not sure if this is going to go in the right or left check right now I, I've got right and left all mixed up in my head right now uh, but we can easily copy and paste if we need to it's going to check to make sure that the X position which is the top left corner of everything it's going to make sure that it's actually like less than the width, the end point of the X uh, vert vertex, I think. Uh, the X vertice, the X plus the width of the player. It's going to make sure it's less than that. So it could be all the way at the right, the left of it, past it, or it could be in it, but it's not past it. The next part is going to check if the positioning of the platform is greater than the positioning of the player okay the players X scale plus half well I put position that size fail plus half of their size X scale and that's to double check that it's actually okay so it's past that point it's it's already gone past and this is for the right collision detection I believe I might go into left I'm not sure. Right and left is game jumbled up for me here. Now we have to do the Y part of this. Y time. And let's make this. Check the X. Now P dot position dot Y dot scale. Ah, can I stop pressing that extra S any time here? Please. Alright. Is less than a player that position that Y that scale plus player that size that Y that scale. Ay, ay. That extra S is killing me. There, I put it there too. And P that position that Y that scale plus P that, uh, I think it. Yeah, it should be size that y that scale without the extra s, which I put in twice. Wow, wow. All right, p that size that y scale is greater than player that size or not size position. Sorry, 
dot y dot scale without the extra s then well we already have the then down here uh, then don't do anything um let's make collision equals false and if all of that was true then collision equals true and down here if not collision then and that's going to double check that there is no collision after we've gone through our loop and now let's just go to platforms and this platform here we just want to extend its size uh, so that it goes all the way down to where the player can in fact hit it and where's the uh, size here the, uh, here where is he at okay we can just change this to point two then oh, point two is actually too big uh, it doesn't really matter but for OCD sake uh, we'll do it correctly press F6 and now we can test so the Y was doing the same basic thing as the X. It was checking, okay, is the Y of this thing actually past this point or above it maybe? And then is the Y or is the height total under it and stuff? Um, now, this isn't perfect collision detection. This is very inaccurate. You guys all have to come up with your better algorithms for yourself uh, if you really want to make a very highly accurate game without any glitches. Uh, there is an error. Uh, position is not a valid member of script. What did I do wrong here? Uh, it's on line 20, it says. 20. Player.position. Ah, what? What's the problem here? I do not see. A, oh! No, no, there shouldn't be a script in here uh, hmm it's saying that position is not a valid member of script on line 20 and it's being called from line 44 yeah that's correct so line 20 um, which actually is only here what's where are we indexing the script at uh, alright I'll be right back after I fix this Alright, that was a real big fail by me. I figured out the problem. Um, you guys probably saw it ages ago, like t 10 minutes ago, um, when we first started this tutorial, and I was apparently focusing more on talking and less on scripting, but that's okay as long as you guys learn. Um, I put script.parent for plats get children. It needs to be script.parent.platforms get children. Um, and now if we go to this player script and we disable and enable it we should get this going error free or maybe we won't hmm well oh oh that's why uh, we'll have to copy it's in the star GUI right now, not in the player GUI. So we'll actually just go to the player GUI, delete the 2D game, and paste another one in. And now, boom! All right, he's moving normally right here. He's moving back and forth. Hit the side. He does not continue moving after he has hit that. Now, before our collision detection, he would have just kept sailing right on through it. And I will prove that to you guys right now by just getting uh, commenting this out here this entire for loop um, and then of course disabling and re-enabling this and as you can see if we don't do the collision detection he just moves right through all of the platforms and that is a, a big problem uh, we will check that again and now we will actually just copy all of this close our visit and paste it into the uh, actual player script in the actual game so that we are sure that we don't lose any of our progress. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.